my name is Jennifer Bechtel, and as a fellow lover of candle making, I'm bringing this short video to you today on one of the key components of making quality candles that will produce a long, even burn, and that's wick setting. A well-centered wick is essential for even heat distribution and wax melting across the top of the candle. A wick set off-center will not only cause the candle to tunnel down one side of the container, wasting wax and shortening burning time, but the off-centered wick can also be a safety hazard if it permits the flame to come into extended contact with the side of the glass jar. If the candle is left unattended in this condition, the container may crack, damage the surface it's resting on, or worse yet, start a fire. So, let's begin by looking at the tools we'll need to successfully set our wick. First, you'll need an empty glass jar or container. Second, you'll need a stick long enough to allow you to manipulate the position of the wick base easily. I prefer the orange wood manicure sticks like pictured here in the video. These are inexpensive in bulk and can also be used to stir your wax prior to pouring the candles. Another alternative would be a flathead screwdriver. You'll also need an appropriate sized wick. I like a 100% cotton wick set in a button, which also serves the purpose of putting the candle out when it burns down if it's been left unattended for a long period of time. And lastly, a basic hot glue gun which you can purchase from any hobby store. While waiting for your glue gun to heat up, which will take about 10 minutes, make sure your container is clean and dry and your wick is stretched as straight as possible. But don't pull too hard on button set wicks or you can separate the wick from the button bottom. Using a Sharpie or other soft tip marker, make a dot in the center of the bottom of the jar. Make a small circle of glue on the bottom of the button and touch it lightly to the dot you've drawn on the bottom of the container. Using your flat end pressing tool, move the wick about as needed to center it. Press evenly around the base to ensure equal attachment under the wick button and to make sure no hot wax will get under the edge of the button, which may cause the wick button to dislodge when the hot wax is added. After the wick is set, allow the jar to set for about 5 minutes to allow the glue to dry. Now you're ready to add your wax. 